Hello, Scorpio. And cross watchers, of course. Welcome to your mid January to February reading. This current brand new fucking year. Yay. Anyway, Scorpio and Cross Watcher like this is for the sign of Scorpio and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. Anyway, um, it resonates with you, cool. good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, away it goes. There's no point in worrying about shit that ain't about you. There is none of your damn business. Right? Right. I want to personal all the infos in the description box below. First readings on the house, and I take tips and donations. Thank you for coming in advance. Anyway, let us see, Scorpio. Oh, I'm trying out a new layout just because it's the new year, and it's like, I've never done it like this before. But it makes way more sense doing it this way. Like, what a strange and much more intriguing technique. I'm learning. Anyway, so, Scorpio. I'm in the energy of either you or the crosswatch, right, or somebody here, whoever this queer is, right? Like, this new beginning is not happening, and there's no excuses for it. It's just like, it's not happening, and I'm not waiting for it whatsoever. You're just done with it, right? We got the Three of Swords down here reverse. Someone's trying to heal from when they, I feel like they were more weak than they were in a state of temptation. You know, like, they didn't have their strength up to begin with, and it just didn't help. Up here with this Prince of Wands and the wants and wishes, you know, like someone is trying to offer somebody something to somebody, and that's a relationship for sure. Or just something of love or values of love or whatever. However, the burden right here that someone's going to be placed under is going to help open their eyes a little bit about what's actually going on. Now here in the fears of rejection, we got the Queen of Pentacle reverse. Could be an unfaithful spouse, Capricorn, Taurus. Virgo, and she is too busy doing whatever it is she wants to do to offer dick. She ain't offer nothing. Like, and that's a fear for either you or whoever. Scorpio and cross watchers alike. And for the very ending where how this should start and how it'll end, this Prince of Swords is pretty much going to verbalize that, you know, like, he's not taking the leap of faith. He don't care. With the beginning theme being the Two of Pentacles reverse, not knowing what your options are or even if you did, how to operate with them bit of metal confusion with it all, you know. Scorpio, this person is like a... I feel like they just don't give a shit. They probably give a shit less than you do. Which is impressive. Because it's like, it's usually Aries, Capricorn, and you, Scorpio. Those are usually the three signs that like have a hard time like giving a fuck about anything. Honestly, even shit they like. Yeah. But in this particular case, it seems like this person gives less of a fuck than you do. So let us see the energy up here. Why are they not making excuses to start shit? Because they mad and they turn their back on shit with like the Empress. Reverse, Shadow Side, could be Libra, Aries, Taurus. No. Pretty much ignoring your intuition about things. I, don't, I, I feel like this person just. Maybe they're hard-headed. Maybe. This, like, that just came up. This is like, oh, this is something my dad would yell at me for, not using my brain. Okay. Alright. Three of Swords, Reverse with the Strength card. Trying to heal the broken heart after feeling too weak about things, right? Yeah. Not entirely too very, very happy about how the situation's gone down, Scorpio and Crosswatcher. And definitely seeing danger from a mile of fuck away. You know, it's just like, oh yeah, there's the storm. I'm not going in that. I'm in armor. It's going to rust. I'm not going to be able to move after the first five minutes. No, no. I just polished the shit, you know. And the wants and wishes, right? This queer who's trying to offer some love. The Prince of Cups. It could be you who's wanting to do this and this person just isn't accepting it. And, you know, you're trying to propose a fucking marriage to him. It's just like, we, we clicked in the beginning. We can still click now. Let's hook right back up. And... Do it quickly. You know, what does the ghetto nun say sometimes? She has the Johnny Cash card out. Oh, we got married in a fever. She sings that sometimes. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's like they want to get together in a hurry. This could be you, Scorpio, Cross Watcher, or this could be another water sign doing this to you. That's your wants and wish, anyway. Or maybe they're hoping that you'll do that so they don't have to. You know? Uh, obstacle and challenge. This burden, it's coming to light that they're bored and really dramatic. Her name's Becky. Bored-ass Becky. 
Let's say she is. She's bored, but being dramatic, being overly emotional about how the world's going down and how things didn't go as planned, I will say. Ooh, got a book. It's probably a short one, though. Yeah, it's short. Um, y'all may be different creatures, but you do click, but someone's still in the dark about where to deliver their fucking package. It's being a burden that's becoming something that they bit off more than they meant to chew on. It's like tear with Fenrir, right? If you know Norse mythology. Yeah, because Lord knows I wouldn't volunteer to put my hand in something that tells me it's going to bite my hand if I'm going to try to trick it. Especially if I'm trying to trick it, because that's dumb. Everyone else probably looking at tear like, what are you doing? But, you know, whatever. Ugh. Queen of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. Both of them are verse. She's too busy with her own shit to offer anything the other way, I feel like. That's a fear and rejection for his court. Um, the boat done went away. They might have went somewhere else. Uh, the boat done went away because they, they tried to turn their candle brighter than the sun, which is like they're trying to make their truth brighter than the truth. Um, like, they didn't want to face facts or something. Like, they want to be right, and that's why they probably took off. That's probably why they didn't offer anything. Or that's their fear and rejection, anyway. It might be a, a second person, too, in this Scorpion Crosswatcher. Or technically third, since this is supposed to be about you and whoever, but you know. How this shit starts, how it'll end with the Prince of Swords talking about, I don't want to do this sleep of faith shit. You know, how, that's how that shit's worked. They've worked by themselves. This is, they, they're working on some stuff, and they don't feel like they would win anything or any prizes investing in this shit whatsoever. You know? It's not very, uh, it, it doesn't seem sustainable to them, and they don't see it as a value of sorts. The ending theme. Someone needs to realize and put themselves in their own trap and to get out of it. It's just like, you know, like, hey, the door's open, you can get out any time. It's like, they realize they trapped themselves and they have the key to get out now. But they don't know whether they should stay or go. Hmm. Hmm, need to look at that, you know. Um, love is clearly not here. But someone is manifesting their fate to bring their own emotional fulfillment and move forward from this shit. So that's a good thing. Okay, so let's see. Nina Miss Scorpio. I don't know why there's little miss or dudes who watch this too. But yeah, that's whatever. So let's see. The energy right here, you know, like Scorpio, you might be trying to talk to this person. Or it could be another water sign, and they just keep throwing water in their own face. And that just pisses this Empress off and causes her to just rip you right off your damn horse and stab you with your own sword. It's like, you try to work with this person, but they're coming up with excuses. Or they're trying to end excuses for why you guys should keep trying to deal with each other. In the situation where someone's just not happy with how things are going... And they can see disaster on the way. They are being enlightened. Are making a judgment call. And going in for some secrets. Could be Scorpio or Rep Not Scorpio. Cancer or Pisces. But somebody's walking up to learn some secrets, man. Either or, right? Over here in the wants and wishes. Somebody wants to get married in a fever. Quote unquote the nun. Might have to actually talk to this motherfucker to figure out if it's even worth trying to delegate, but I feel as though like options are not are, are gonna be pretty slim, Scorpio and cross watchers alike. Like extremely slim. But not to the point where it's that it's not gonna it's not gonna lead to opening communications up. And I feel like it's just gonna leave more bad seeds than it will like good ones. I feel like whoever this queer it is, whatever they want to do, it's with this marriage shit, it's like... It's like they're not thinking about it. Ten of Wands. Or the obstacle and challenge, I mean. Becky's bored, being dramatic, the world is just turning, and there was a bad investment here that did not go through. 
Trying to get the energy to change how all of this shit went down. In order to get out of a very bad toxic environment, you know, like you might be left out in the cold, but you're going to get yourself out of there either by yourself or with another person and other people watching you do it. It doesn't really matter. Like, Scorpio, you're not like, you're really not one to, like, look back at a person or a situation or a thing at all. Like, you'll just leave. You're just like, no, nah, fuck this. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> all right. Fears and rejections. Someone leaving on their bullshit like they're back on their bullshit and they took off back on their bullshit right wheels turning on that and it's like yeah maybe it's better to agree to disagree hmm that's kind of strange because it's already like y'all don't get along as it is But it's like you become happy as soon as this person's gone. Like, they may not see it, but, like, you do. And you're going to have a good-ass time without them. It's like they always wanted to argue, and you guys always ended up, like, never really getting along. And after a time, it's like, you know, it's good that we didn't share a world, or else I wouldn't be where I am today. It's a good thing they did that, you know? Down below and how this shit starts, how it'll end, you know, someone doesn't want to work, wants to work on their own shit, they don't want to get a victory with you with this, it leaves you pretty much pissed, or at least someone pretty much pissed, whoever the counterpart to the king is. They're pissed about this uh, beginning that should have been here, which it's not, and they can't seem to get over that, it should have been a clean slate or whatever. Oh, Scorpio. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> so, anyway, that's your reading, guys. I have this all y'all out. Um, slightly confused with the ending, but it does make sense in a way. Um, so. If you guys enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You ain't got this too if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, I love you guys' face. I will see you later. Remember, um, be good or don't get caught, but you didn't hear it from me. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.